Hello everyone, Andy here from eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at the Inno Gravity Ski and Snowboard Rack on our 2020 Mazda CX-5. So having the Gravity Ski and Snowboard Rack as an option is great for the CX-5. It gets, as you can see, those longer items, the skis and the snowboards out of our cargo area and it allows us to bring more passengers to the slopes with us, whether it's friends or family. Also, we now have more room in the back of the hatch for any of our other type of gear, helmets, gloves, boots, whatever it be, we can store that back and still have our passengers riding comfortably. Some of the nice features about this snowboard rack are the mounting plates here that will attach to various styles and sizes of bars. As you can see here, we do have them on the Inno Aero bar and it is a very nice, solid, secure fit. One other thing to look at is going to be how easy it is to unlatch and get all of your equipment off whether you have gloves or a mitten on anything that's going to be bulky is going to be able to get this off there very easily so you can hit the slopes quicker one thing that's nice too is going to be how they're all keyed alike so same key and it's going to keep everything safe and secure from getting possibly stolen so as you can see here that the top clamp of the ski and snowboard rack kind of feeds through our quick release when it comes to mounting the ski and snowboard rack and what that is going to do is prevent any quick theft that might happen. So one thing that's nice is having this extra thick foam padding both on the top and the bottom that's going to protect your skis and snowboards. It's very solid, it's going to keep everything secured and tight to the rack. So let's take a look at a couple of measurements. We're gonna be adding on top of our you know, aero bars right about seven inches and from the roof of our vehicle, we're looking at about 17 and a half to the top of our binding strap there. So just be aware whenever you're pulling in and out of a garage or any other tight spaces where you might have some issues with clearance above the vehicle, this is an addition to your CX-5. So let's take a look at some clearances when it comes to opening the hatch. And we'll take a measurement as well from the spoiler to the tips of our skis. So from our spoiler to the tip of our skis, we're looking at right at seven inches. Now just be mindful that if you were to have longer skis, um, it's a possibility it could get a little closer, but as of right now, I don't see that as a problem. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the installation. We're gonna go ahead and undo our clamps on each side and place over our bar. Make sure those clamps are, there we go, moved out of the way in order for everything to seat onto the bar. Perfect. And now you will have this adjustment knob on the side that will help aid in getting the proper tension when you do clamp this on. So let's go ahead and make sure we're lined up evenly. So here is the adjustment knob and we're just gonna go ahead and make sure, see. Let's go a little bit on the tighter side just to make sure everything is secure. All right, now let's go ahead and get our snowboard loaded up. We'll just go ahead and hit the release lever both on the front and the rear. And we've got that in place. Now we will hear it secure and snap down. Now we're ready to hit the road. Overall, my final thoughts are going to be, I like how easy and tool-free the installation is. So if I needed to swap out a cargo basket or let's say a bike rack, um, this is very easy just to get it on and off quickly. I do like how easy the levers are to access everything as well. Although my only complaint would be how tight it is to get everything in and out. So you kind of have to make sure that you slide everything in there. It's really not that big of a deal. I think it's just a solid construction and I do like that easy on and off installation that it provides. And that is a look at the InnoGravity Ski and Snowboard Rack on our 2020 Mazda CX-5.